This is Jason with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center and we're here in La Plata Canyon in the South San Juan zone and as you can see we've had a really big avalanche cycle uh, below tree line slopes, near tree line, all elevation bands. Uh, snowmobiling in on the road, there was debris flow across the road that we couldn't even cross so uh, D3 plus um, avalanche size in some areas. Now what does this mean? Uh, we haven't looked at the snowpack yet, we're going up to dig right now, but what we're trying to find out is, are we going to have another avalanche cycle like this when it snows again, or did all that snow make the snowpack in this area stronger and deeper? We're going to do an extended column test to see how the snowpack's behaving now that we're 12 days out from a rather large and widespread uh, natural cycle. But we have a really firm slab sitting over top of these weaker grain. So for here, um, things look to be like they're turning in the right direction, snowpack's gaining strength. Um, but we'll be curious to see what we find a little higher up, maybe on a more northerly aspect. Right now we're here on a due east aspect. Here on a northeast aspect that slid during the same avalanche cycle as all the other activity here in the La Platas. What we're finding is about six to eight inches of just really weak cohesionless snow sitting on top of really a really firm layer that's right above the ground. For today, on slopes like this here in the La Platas, we're not concerned about the avalanche hazard. But moving forward, once we build a slab on this, we're going to be back to a similar structure that we already have slab on top of some weaker snow and that's going to be a challenge once we start covering all the evidence from the last cycle and knowing what slopes slid and what slopes did it.